Or this is another thing America should be known for instead. Fake, woke, pandering. M&M's putting its woke spokes candies on hold. The candy giant most notably changing the green M&M's white go-go boots to sneakers. Remember that last year? Well, in a statement, the company now is saying we've decided to take an infinite pause from the spokes candies. In their place, we are proud to announce a spokesperson America can, can agree on, the beloved Maya Rudolph. Remember her from Saturday Night Live and from uh, Luke and also from Bridesmaids. She's really funny. And another funny... Why did they... This shark look at mother... It's too ugly to be funny, okay? He's, like, not funny ugly. He's just, like, scary ugly. They always bring him on as, like, a comedian on Fox News in the morning programs. Stop. Stop trying to make this guy's career happen, please. Funny guy Jimmy Fela. Yeah, see? Funny guy Jimmy Fela in the building. It's like, nah, man. Who hosts Fox Across America on Fox News Radio and Fox Nation joins us. Am I wrong? Doesn't he look like a shark? I'm not crazy, am I? Does he not look like a f-ing shark? He looks like he looks like a, like a villainous shark in like a in like a children's show from my childhood. Hey, hey, hey! Hello. Be honest. Did you book me for this story because I look like I get paid in M and M's? Tell the truth, Ainsley. <laughs> Come clean great. with bro. He knows. He knows. He knows. Me. You look great. They There's are a tasty. really valuable message here for companies around the world. If it ain't woke. Don't fix it. Mm-hmm. And what I mean by I like that, that is M&M's injected a social justice initiative into a bag of candy, and nobody had asked for this initiative. People don't go to candy to get identity politics. They go to candy to get love handles. They go because they want to eat and escape the day. I mean, that's what candy always was to kids. It was like alcohol for kids. You're having a rough day. You bag down some M&M's. You get on with your life. But in this instance, they found themselves in the middle of a little bit of a social justice firestorm. But thankfully, the customer base pushed back as they should. What do you think about Maya Rudolph being the new spokesperson? I she's think they blew a, this. No, no. It's going to be in a Super Bowl commercial. Let me jump in. I, Maya Rudolph's actually, she's really funny, and I really genuinely like her a lot. Uh-huh. But I still think they blew it. They should have leaned into the fact that this is some of the most fattening content on earth and gotten like me. Okay, I am a good spokesperson. If I wasn't on cable news, I would be a before model. Okay, that's who you want pushing your product because it gives everybody else the permission to eat this candy. Maya Rudolph makes me want to go to the gym. She looks great. You need Bro, this is like, I I don't even understand. What the Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, okay, listen, listen. I don't even fully understand what happened with this M&M shit. Like, because I just don't care. It's just chocolate. Like, who's this candy, right? It's candy, it's candy, it's candy. But I think they were, like, trying to be woke or something, like, do the fake pandering shit. Like, oh, man, our M&M's, like, we're, we're being feminist or whatever. And then Tucker Carlson cried a lot about it, so they were like, hey, sorry, Tucker Carlson, we were just kidding. Uh, We're not woke, actually, or something. I, I don't even know. I don't even know what's going on. It's just the only thing I know from this story is that Tucker Carlson wants to f*** the M&M. That's it. Like, that's the only takeaway that I have that you should have from that story. The only takeaway from this broadcast, perhaps. Other than at the top of the hour, there's a three-minute ad break. And if you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe, which you can do for $5 or for free with the Twitch Prime. That's a takeaway that you can get from this broadcast. Also, Tucker Carlson wants to f*** M&Ms, you know? You can also get gifted a sub if you're lucky. People have been gifting like 100 gifted subs today. They've been going crazy with it on the timeline. Here's a three-minute ad break now. If you haven't gotten one of those, then, you know, you're out of luck. Anyway, here's a three-minute ad break now. <sighs> it's got to be Castens. Thank you for the tank of the subs. It's got to be like uh, some chatters are also pointing this uh, out as well. Uh, it, it has to do with like the Super Bowl, right? Like it's got to be something about the Super Bowl. Uh, Sloth Ardwark uh, 94 thank you for the five gifted subs. Mr... Marty McNasty, thank you for the five get the subs as well. Like, they're probably trying to do, like, a Super Bowl thing. You know, you got mad at us for making our M&Ms gay and trans or whatever. I don't know. I just, I don't care. I'm so tired of this shit. Nobody cares. I can't even, like, I can't even, like, act like I care. That guy, Grim, thank you for the five tier one give the subs. I can't. I can't even fake it. I can't fake it. It's just, no one cares. Jimmy Fail. 